To add the free sound library to your video, go over to the Fairlight tab when you're already inside of a DaVinci Resolve project. You can open up the sound library by clicking up here at the top of the screen. So if you haven't already installed sound effects to Resolve, you should see this download button in the center here on the left side. So go ahead and click that and that'll take you to the Blackmagic Design Support page. It will pop up with Blackmagic Fairlight Sound Library 1.0, so you'll need to go ahead and register your details just like you would when you install Resolve for the first time and agree to the license agreement. If for some reason you don't see that button, you can also get to the same files by going to blackmagicdesign.com support and you'll be able to find the Fairlight Sound Library in this latest download section. Rather than scrolling down, I recommend that you hit Control F and you search for Fairlight space sound space library space 1.0. And if you put that in, it should take you right down to the Blackmagic Fairlight Sound Library 1.0. So click on the version which is relevant to you and you'll be given that same register and download dialog. So once you've downloaded the zip file, go ahead and open it up and you can extract the executable or run it straight from within your zip program. So I went ahead and extracted the executable. So now I can double click it to install the library. So let's just go through the installation steps here. You can tell it where you want your sound library to be located. If you're not okay with the default location, then change it with the browse button. I'll go ahead and hit next here read and accept the license and then hit install to install it once your sound library is installed go ahead and reboot resolve so once you restart resolve and you go back over to the fairlight tab and the sound library you should see a search box up here a results section down here and a preview section for any sound effects you find so you can search the sound library you just installed by typing in a keyword so for instance if i put in ant i get sound effects that contain that text in either the title or the description you can also filter by specifically name or description if you want to narrow that down. So for any of these sound effects that you want to use, you can just left click them. So if you want to test a sound effect, you can just left click on it and hit play and it'll play back in this preview section over here. And if you want to add it onto your timeline, you can just left click and hold and drag it onto one of your timeline audio tracks. So just put it in here and now we have the sound effect added to our project. Now, if you're curious about which sound effects you installed or you want to find them manually, then you can go to the location where you installed the sound library. So by default, this is going to be in Windows, your C drive slash users slash your username slash movies slash Fairlight sound library. So in media files, we can see all of the sound effects that were contained in this package. So we can scroll down and find ones we want. And you can also manually drag these back into the project by left clicking and dragging in and it will be added to the media pool. And once the sound effect is in the media pool, you can just drag it anywhere you need on one of your audio tracks. So one last thing, if there is a folder of sound effects that you ever wanna bring into your sound library in addition to the Fairlight Sound Library, you can click on Fairlight Sound Library here from this dropdown, put it on local database, which will unlock this three dots menu up here. And you can click that and do add library and from there you can find a folder on your location containing sound effects and then you can hit select folder. So in this case in that music folder I add a bunch of royalty free music by Kevin McLeod. So you can see that these sound effects are now contained in DaVinci Resolve which are searchable on the local database. And now I can just drag those into my timeline whenever I need a music track. So that's basically the sound library in a nutshell. How to install and use free sound effects in your video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.